Hi guys! The previous week has passed by with loads of controversies left behind. Did you keep yourself updated with all of the news? If not, then you might want to sit down and watch our video to see what's been shaking in the K-pop world recently. So let me walk you guys through the first discussion of today's video, which is around Jennie's outfit at the Met Gala 2023. Previously, after hearing that Jennie was about to show up at the Met, fans were all left in anticipation with the presence of the female idol and how she was going to show up. At the event, the female idol was seen to appear with an above-knee white strapless skirt, which is highlighted by many accessories like a black bow tie belt with one white camellia on it and one on her hair, a black choker, and a black pair of gloves and socks. The outfit from head to toe only has two basic colors, black and white, but still showered with countless compliments from netizens, shouting out that Jenny looks so chic and flawless in it. However, Jenny's cute outfit that day seemed to not live up to everyone's expectation as it gained loads of mixed opinions from many other netizens who said that the outfit is too simple and somewhat out of fashion for such a big event like the Met Gala where every celebrity tries to put on the most stunning and sophisticated clothes. Thus, wearing a simple mini dress like that obviously made Jenny fail to stand out in the crowd. And the fact that she is the ambassador of Chanel also got netizens confused as she was supposed to be given another more flattering outfit instead of this one. Some also stated that it looked like a female idol got lost in the event full of majestic and spectacular outfits with that trivial dress. And her fans are just trying to overrate her look while in fact there is nothing so impressive. Needless to say, many immediately stood up for their idol. They admitted that Jenny's outfit at the Met Gala could be simple, but it wasn't the point as she still appeared to be really chic and elegant, thanks to her unique aura. Plus, whether the outfit is special or not might depend on the perspective of each person. In fact, the theme of 2023 Met is to commemorate Karl Lagerfeld and his works. Thus, this choice of outfit of Jenny is so smart and reasonable with a theme as the dress has completely succeeded in reminding everyone of the legendary designer as well as being historic as it was pulled from Chanel's 1990 archives. As for me, I think that Jenny's outfit at the 2023 Met is kinda simple yet isn't monotonous at all. Besides, not everyone should dress eccentrically at the Met, so it's not debatable that Jenny dressed simply and elegantly. I'm not going to convince everyone to think Jenny's outfit is excellent as everyone has a different taste of fashion. Still, overall, I really appreciate her choice of outfit for the first time she made an appearance at the Met Gala. Shall we move on to the next heated controversy, which is about the current visual of Espa's Karina? Well, not long ago, there were several photos of the female idol taken by fans circulated on social platforms. These photos soon went viral along with an explosive discussion around Karina's current status. To be more specific, she was seen to be tired and lifeless than usual. What also caught netizens' attention is her hair, which is severely damaged and dry like grass. It looks as if the female idol doesn't take care of herself for some time. Some netizens after looking at these photos were all dumbstruck as they couldn't recognize the girl in the photo is Karina because she looks different from her sparkling image on stage. Many Andes also take advantage of this to mock Karina, joking that she looks more like an old lady than a K-pop idol and questioning whether she deserves the title AI-like idol, like everyone usually praises or not. Fans assumed that Karina must have dyed and bleached her hair many times, leading to it suffering from great damage like that. Plus, as Espa is promoting their comeback spicy, Karina must have been working too hard, leading to her being tired and worn out. Thus, they asked the female idol to take more care of herself so that her condition doesn't get worse. However, some other fans claim that it is the photo angle that made Karina look worse than she really does as from other angles, she is still as stunning as usual. They also provided some close-up photos of her face on the same day to prove her undeniable visual. What's more, fans criticized netizens for being so unreasonable when judging her visual based on only two photos. However, they still asked SM Entertainment to give Karina some time to rest as well as stop forcing her to dye or bleach her hair so that it could have time to recover. 
Well, I personally think that netizens are all overreacting regarding this matter. As far as I know, at that time, Karina didn't wear makeup, so she might look less stunning than when on stage, but still really pretty. Worth mentioning, she must have undergone a tight schedule, thus not having time to take proper care of her image. So, instead of nitpicking her imperfect moments, netizens need to encourage and sympathize with her. Moving on to another heated discussion regarding the main dancer of EXO, Kai, who recently burst into tears on a live stream after a surprise enlistment announcement. On May 3rd, SM Entertainment suddenly announced that Kai would enlist on May 11th, according to SM due to changes in the Korean Military Manpower Administration's regulations. Kai had to enlist earlier than planned and had to withdraw from EXO's upcoming comeback. Kai will work as a social service worker for 21 months after completing his basic military training. It was such shocking news for EXOL as Kai was gearing up to make a comeback with EXO this year. On the same night, he went on live chatting with fans but turned off all the lights, talked in the dark and even burst into tears. He shared that he had prepared a lot for his fans but would not be able to showcase any of that. However, in contrast to SM's claims regarding the recent change in regulations of the Military Manpower Administration, a representative of the department spoke to Star News to partially clarify the situation, explaining that the Korean military service law allows those who receive a summons for military service to request a total of five postponements of their enlistment date within two years of receiving the summons. This applies to all individuals, regardless of whether they are celebrities or normal people. Kai has used up five times to delay his enlistment and he has also reached the age to enlist in accordance with the law. Therefore, there is no choice but to have Kai enlist in the army on May 11. After this news was announced, SM Entertainment and Kai have been under fire from netizens. Many argued that Kai and his management company should have prepared and planned for his enlistment earlier, especially after having used up the allowed number of postponements. In addition, Kai must have known that he could be sent for military service at any moment, therefore netizens found it confusing when he shared that he had just heard the news. Many people pointed out that Kai's crying and lack of preparedness for his military service suggests that he doesn't really care about it. However, Kai's fans have come to his defense amidst the backlash from netizens, and they are placing the blame on SM Entertainment for being negligent in idols' management. Some fans have also believed that Kai's emotional outburst during his livestream was because he knew he won't be able to meet fans and the other members for a long time. Not that he was not ready for military service. From my perspective, it was partly due to SM Entertainment being too subjective. Probably they thought that entering the military can still be flexible like many times before, so the company assumed it was possible to postpone it this time. Only until they asked for the postponement from Military Manpower Administration but not being accepted, there is no other way to make such an urgent announcement. Just only 10 days before Kai's enlistment, quite rushed, compared to the previous times of at least one month. Therefore, I think Kai doesn't deserve to be blamed for this at all because he trusts the arrangement of the company and really didn't expect the news to come so suddenly. So, do you find Jenny's image at the Met Gala boring as some say? Does Kai deserve to be blamed for not being mentally prepared for his enlistment?